Hello and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. My name is Mr. Jim and my wife and three kids. We live in South Carolina and love story time. So thank you so much for sending all your ideas so that we can create a new story every single day. Well, today's story is part two of Juliana's amazing adventure of the case of the missing walkie-talkies. What is going to happen? Well, are you ready to find out? Me too. Let's go. As Juliana was quickly writing down the message on a piece of paper, her little friend Penelope was ready to deliver it. I think she could tell that there was an important message coming and she was getting very excited to start flying. Hold on, Penelope, said Juliana. I just have to finish writing this message and then you can get back to HQ. This is really important. As she was writing, she wrote, HQ, I have discovered that the walkie-talkie station number eight is actually the secret channel for the Purple Ninjas. I think if we listen in, that will give us the clues to find all of our missing walkie-talkies. Signed, Juliana. She rolled up the note and carefully attached it to the bird's leg. All right, Penelope, I'll see you soon. Good luck and stay safe. She opened her window and out the bird flew. Remember, this was a specially trained messenger bird. This bird knew exactly where to fly and how to get back to HQ. She was pretty much a member of our spy team. As Juliana looked back at her walkie-talkie that she had built, she turned it back on to channel number eight. Wah-ha-ha-ha! All right, purple ninjas. Now that we have control over the radio and the walkie-talkies, we will control all of communication. Well, boss, um... But what about people's phones? Like, I think the parents still have uh, their cell phones. Should we do something about that? Oh, absolutely. If we destroy all the cell phone towers, then no one will be able to talk to each other. And then, ha, that will make taking over the world like a, eating a piece of... A piece of... Uh, uh... Like cake, boss? Yes, yes, that's like eating a piece of cake over and out. <laughs> oh no, now they're trying to get cell phones out? I have to let HQ know. Wait a second. Oh no, Penelope's already gone. I can't send another message. Oh no, this one's on me, she said to herself. Wait a second. I think my dad knows something about that, said Juliana. She ran downstairs to go find her dad. Her dad had a really cool job. His job was to repair all the cell phone towers and to make sure that they were working properly. So he actually had a map of all the cell phone towers. Dad! 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 dad, I need you! Dad! (laughs) What's going on, Juliana? What's, uh, what's the emergency? Dad, you're not going to believe this, but somehow the Purple Ninjas have stolen all of the spies' walkie-talkies, and they're now trying to turn off all the cell phones all around the world by destroying the tower somehow. The Purple Ninjas are doing what? Her dad said. Oh, no. Do you have any clue? Like, do you know how to stop them? He said. Not exactly, but... Don't you have a map of, like, all the area's towers that provide the cell service for our phones? Oh, yeah, I have a huge map. Here, come to my office. Hurry. Her dad led her back to his office, and sure enough, on the wall was a giant map. A huge map of the whole state's cell phone towers. Okay, Dad, if you were trying to take down the whole network, which tower would you start with? Her dad thought for a second and then said... My gut says it would have to be the tower up on Stone Mountain. You see, since that tower is the tallest of them all, it carries a lot of the weight of the signal. If you had to choose one, that's the one I'm going to say. Thanks, Dad! Juliana shouted as she ran up to her bedroom. She had to get her spy gear. As she got to her room, she grabbed her jetpack, net shooter, and everything else, and then turned around and heard... 
Penelope, you made it back. Oh, and there's another message. Wow, Penelope, her messenger bird, had flown very quickly and delivered her message to HQ, and HQ had responded with a new note. She pulled the note off of the bird's leg and read it aloud. Dear Juliana, great job on your detective work. We have honed in on the channel number eight. This will give us great secret intel to know what is going on in Dr. Stinky Breath's conversations with Purple Ninjas and will give us a secret edge. Keep us informed and stay safe. Signed, HQ. All right, I got to send a new message back. Are you ready for another flight, Penelope? Great, said Juliana. She started quickly writing a letter describing everything she had heard while listening on Channel 8 and the new plan to protect the tower on top of Stone Mountain. She attached the note onto Penelope and off she flew. Bye, Penelope! Stay safe! Juliana had now done everything she could and now needed to get to Stone Mountain to save that tower. Thankfully, it was a short flight with her jetpack. As she blasted off towards the clouds, she kept her eyes looking down, searching just in case any purple ninjas were wandering around. Wait, is that a purple truck driving up the mountain right now? Up ahead, she could see a purple pickup truck driving up Stone Mountain, the backside of it where nobody usually drove. Oh no, that's gotta be the purple ninjas. I gotta get there fast. As Juliana hit the turbo button on her jetpack, she blasted off even faster. Whoa! Whoa, if you hit that turbo button on your jetpack, you better hold on for a crazy ride. As she zoomed to the top of Stone Mountain, she was there faster than the purple truck. Holy smokes, that turbo button's fast. I've never pushed that before. Whoa. She caught her breath. She came up with a plan. All right, I got to get the net shooters out and even maybe the glue launchers. And hopefully that will slow them down in time for HQ to get here. Remember, she had written on that message that Penelope was delivering to HQ about the plan. And so hopefully HQ was going to send backup just in time. As Juliana hid right near the tower, a purple pickup truck pulled up. All right, guys. So, here's the plan. At the top of the tower, there is a really important piece that I don't know what it is, but the boss told me about it. It's bright green and flashing. I need you to go climb up the tower and go get it for me, okay? I'm going to keep the truck safe. You need me to go all the way up the tower? But I don't, I don't, I don't like going up in high places. Come on, man. We're ninjas. Wait, you... You gotta stop talking like that. We, we talk like this. You mean like, like this? Oh, never mind. That one purple ninja started heading towards the tower. Okay, well, I'll go get it right now. Juliana jumped out from behind the bushes with her glue shooter. Freeze, purple ninja! What? what the, what's going on? And she blasted him with a whole bunch of glue. Oh, this is disgusting. We gotta get out of here. Bye. Wait, wait for me. The purple ninja's purple truck took off, leaving one of their ninjas behind who was stuck in the glue. Wow, great job, Juliana. You caught one of the purple ninjas. <laughs> Up in the air, she could see a whole team of spies from HQ with their jetpacks landing on Stone Mountain. Wow, Juliana. Fantastic job! You have saved the day, and you even captured us a purple ninja. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the others got away in their purple truck. Oh, don't worry about that, Juliana. Now that we know their secret radio channel, because of what you've done, we will be able to know exactly what they're saying without them knowing that we're listening. And that is the day that Juliana saved us all. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid 
shout outs i want to say hey to sienna from los angeles max from sydney australia jack from chicago arthur and henry from illinois jenny anna and olivia from wisconsin ria and Rican from toronto reese from ontario and davy from new zealand i'm so glad that you're all in the kid short stories family and on our spy team we could not stop dr stinky breath and his crew without you my friends will you have a super duper day and i will see you on our next adventure bye